Welcome to the English with Kirsty podcast from www.englishwithkirsty.com. Here I'll be sharing with you tips, information and other learning resources so that you can improve your business English. Hi and welcome to the English with Kirsty podcast and today before I get started with the topic that I have planned for today I'd just like to say that I got an email from someone, um, one of my podcast listeners um, who told me that they listen to the podcast when they are walking their dog and then I found out that it was a golden retriever and golden retrievers are my favourite breed of dog. Um, I like dogs, all dogs, but I have a special place in my heart for golden retrievers. So yeah, I just wanted to say that that was great to hear that somebody is actually listening to the podcast and um, hopefully finding it helpful um, because I can see the numbers because I know how many times podcast episodes get downloaded, but that doesn't mean I, I can't work out who that is. So I don't know the people behind the numbers. So it's really nice when I get an email to say that someone is listening to it and what they, you know, what they're doing, walking the dog. And so, yeah, that was that was great. And if you would like to do that as well, I would love to hear from you to find out more about my podcast listener audience. Who's listening? Where in the world you are? What you do when you're listening to the podcast? Are you going to work, walking the dog? working out whatever so if you want to let me know that then you can email me at podcast at english with com, and kirsty is spelt k-i-r-s-t-y so podcast at english with com. so today we are talking about improving your english in 2018 we started this in january so if anybody's new and wants to find the other episodes about this topic you can go back and they're all alternate weeks throughout the year and we've been talking about different things that you can do to improve your english in 2018 so to summarize then at the end i've got some questions for you and i've also got this on a document so if you want to um, you don't have to write down everything i'm saying now i do have um this as a word document so i will put that on the show notes page that you can request a, a download of this because then it'll be easier if you want to fill it in for yourself. Um, so if you want to do that, you can go to englishwithkirsty.com slash podcast slash episode 134. You can also leave me a message there if you want, but if, especially if you want to get this sheet, then you can go to englishwithkirsty.com slash podcast slash episode 134. So the things to think about are, so what are the three things that you want to improve or be able to do this year? So it's going to be different for everybody. We, we talked about this in part one of the challenge, but what are your three things that you want to focus on? Then what activities will you need to do so that you can achieve these goals? So this is the doing the groundwork to make it possible for you to do the things that you want to do. What problems do you have and how are you going to solve them? Because this is different for everybody. If we take something simple like not enough time, when I think of the things that I don't have enough time for, um, sometimes it's because I don't manage my time well. I've, I've been looking at the things I've been doing online, for example, in, in different groups and, and meeting places online, and I've cut right back because I'd rather do less things and do them well than try and be in loads of different places at once and not really succeed. So that's one thing. Um, I, I wasn't managing my time well. It could be that you um, are trying to do too much, in which case you need to scale back and, and, and do the things that are really important to you. It could be that it's not a priority for you. And if that is the case, then it probably won't get done because generally we do find time for the things that are priorities and the things that oh, would be nice don't get done. And we say we don't have time, but really it's about not making time. Um, because I don't make time for things that aren't that important to me. It's just a, a human a thing that we do as humans. Okay, so this part about the problems is important to look at the problems and the solutions. So then go on to what are you going to read in English? So in, to improve your reading skills, what do you plan to read? That could be a book, it could be articles, it could be anything, but you know, plan to read something specific. Uh, what activities are you going to do that will help with your writing? 
And that could be anything. That could be for work or for studies or just for fun. Um, then who can help with your language learning and what activity are you going to organise with them? So um, who who is around in your network or you may be going to find some people to help you with your language learning. And so as well as the people, think about what activities you can do with them as well. Uh, what resources are you going to use for listening practice? So you're already listening to the podcast, but what else can you use? And um, how are you going to improve your speaking skills? What activities are you going to do? And what system are you going to use to record your vocabulary and learning? And then something we haven't talked about before, when are you going to review this? When are you going to look at it again? Because the problem is sometimes people have all these great plans like at the beginning of the year and then they, they never come back to them. So this will only work if you come back to this. Um, it could be a weekly thing. You come back and see how many things you can tick off or what progress you've made. Um, it could be a monthly thing. I think sometimes it's, it's good to break down the smaller chunks into weeks um, and say, OK, I want to do something from from reading and writing this week or something from listening and speaking or vocabulary. You know, you can break it down into smaller chunks, but sometimes it's good just to, to put the document away to work on the things that you've chosen to do and then to come back maybe a month later or maybe three months later and review the document again. A bit like when you're at work, you know, you a lot of companies have these monthly review meetings with your boss or quarterly review meetings or yearly review meetings where you look at your goals, what you wanted to do in terms of the job, in terms of your personal development, and then you come back and look at them. And sometimes they are a complete waste of time because they're not done very well. But if they are done well, then they can be really beneficial because you have to look at what you've done, what you're going to do and, and where the progress has been made and what's still left to do. So you can have like a review meeting with yourself if you fill out this document and then you go away and work on the things and come back and look at it to see OK, what's what's good, what's been done and where there still needs to be some some work or some effort that you need to put in. So when are you going to review this document if you fill it out? And do you need anyone to help you with that? So it could be that you work with maybe a language partner and you both have something like this. Look at what you're going to improve, how you're going to do it. And you can be your own accountability partner or you can be you can have an accountability partner as one of your language exchange friends you can encourage each other you can check and oh how did you get on with reading that book or how did you get on with signing up to that meetup or whatever you want to do um, sometimes having another person can help and sometimes having another teacher can help I do offer um, language coaching services so this is very specifically not <laughs> English teaching this is for people who want to study on their own so this isn't a way of getting English lessons it's for people that need help with organizing how they're going to study because they want to study on their own that they don't need a teacher they just want to focus on the areas that are important to them and need some help with organizing that so if you'd like me to help you with your copy of this document that is a paid service but it is something that I offer on my website so um, by all means just you can take the document and work on it on your own and use it on your own that's that's not part of the paid service um, but if you want some time with me then that is um, the, the first meeting is a bit longer because we go through your sheet and then if you want any more meetings after that in one or three or six months time they're a bit shorter because we already have the document, we know what the goals are, and it's just about looking at where you got with them. So if that's something you're interested in, then you can go to englishwithkirsty.com slash coaching. Um, and I'll also link it from today's podcast page, um, which I've already given to you. So it's englishwithkirsty.com slash podcast slash episode 134. So if you're interested in that, then yeah, do get in touch. Um, otherwise, you can have the document anyway and work on it on your own. Um, again, you can request that from the podcast page. So I hope that's helpful. It's just really a way of, of going over all that we've been doing since the beginning of the year, making a plan and keeping to the plan because a plan's no good if you don't do anything with it. You know, you need to go back to it and review it and work out um, what else you need to do and also celebrate the success. You know, it sounds a bit like something you'd say in a, a meeting at work, but 
feel good about the things that you have achieved and when you can cross things off the list that you plan to do at the beginning of the year then that's that's something to feel good about and and something to celebrate so don't forget to do that okay there won't be a podcast episode next week because i have a week off and i don't want to be putting out contact if i'm and um, content if i'm not here to answer any questions or engage with people about it so it the next episode will be in two weeks okay have a great week and have fun learning english I hope you enjoyed this episode of the English with Kirsty podcast. If you have any questions or comments, my email address is kirsty at englishwithkirsty.com or you can go to www.englishwithkirsty.com slash podcast where you'll find information about the individual episodes. 